I'm Jacqueline Rieke, the founder of Nutty Steph's Chocolate and Granola Business. We're just a food business, but these days, we must all be caretakers of our own nation and the institutions that comprise it. Organizations like Planned Parenthood make up the integrity and well-being of America. And while the government has been shut down for 33 days, Nutty Steph's has been hard at work. We've vowed to raise $100,000 for Planned Parenthood of Northern New England by crafting 100,000 chocolate vulvas. People's comfort level with the shape of this chocolate varies widely. A lot of people are not comfortable with the idea, but then we notice that they come around. Nutty Steffs chose to craft chocolate vulvas as a means of advancing modern consciousness by destigmatizing this central human organ, commonly held as an ugly secret we're supposed to keep hidden between our legs. Women and girls are taught to protect ourselves by hiding ourselves, and when we are violated, we are shamed, which leads to trauma and furthers the silence. Nutty Steph's choice to launch the Chocolate Vulva Project was a big risk, but we believe America is ready to expand like a vulva. Many brave women have come forward in the last two years, exposing the world to their stories of assault and discrimination through the Me Too and Time's Up movement. Nutty Steffs is bringing the movement higher by urging a fundamental shift in our basic exposure to the shape and the word vulva. We aim to deliver delicious chocolate conversation and to desensitize our communities to vulvas as a means of reversing the trauma of silence. At the same time, Nutty Steffs will support the largest reproductive health care and sexuality education provider and advocate in Northern New England, PPNNE. The Vulva Lucian is an invitation to openness, dialogue, diversity. Hashtag Vulva Lucian is where Nutty Steffs invites Vermonters to share your sacred and difficult vulva memories. By committing to this campaign, Nutty Steffs commits to dedicating resources from our business to the struggle for women's health, education, and justice. In addition to selling 100,000 chocolate vulvas to support PPNNE, Nutty Steffs will hold monthly educational workshops in locations around the state, engage students at the University of Vermont in sexual health education, and commission artists who create original, beautiful representations of the infinitely wide variety of ordinary vulvas. Every chocolate vulva includes an educational collector's card from the vulva gallery, and the Chocolate Vulva campaign culminates in a 20s ball at the Echo Center. It will feature Nutty Steph's chocolate and big band dancing and 20s attire to reflect on the century of progress since women's suffrage and the progress that lies ahead. And to ring in the 20s again. The first 20 people to collect all eight collector's cards from the Vulva Gallery inside the Nutty Steph's Chocolates will win a free ticket to the ball. Also, Vermonters should look for their golden ticket to the Roaring Twenties Ball at the Echo Center when they buy Nutty Steph's Chocolate Bars in 2019. Tickets to the ball are on sale now at 7daysvt.com. The Volvolution is a project designed by Nutty Steph's to include everyone with a connection to a vulva, which is everyone. The Chocolate Vulva campaign was conceived by a strong, community-building woman who is rising to co-ownership at Nutty Steffs, and I'm pleased to introduce her now, Matina Anderson. My name is Matina Anderson, and I discovered the Chocolate Vulva mold almost two years ago and immediately knew that I wanted to work with it. In that moment, the only two words that echoed in my mind were empower and educate. When the mold arrived, we immediately started working with it and really loved what we created, but understood there would be challenges to figuring out how to display and market chocolate vulva for retail. I wanted the people who buy our chocolates to see what I saw, an opportunity to empower women to learn more about their bodies, but I knew that would be difficult. Another year passed and we decided the perfect time to officially release the chocolate would be International Women's Day. We named the new chocolate Divine Feminine and used it to spark a dialogue to honor and empower women in our Nutty Steffs community of makers, retailers and chocolate lovers. My close friend Megan McGeary, Planned Parenthood's major gifts fundraiser, loved the product and reached out to me if we would like to provide some chocolates for an event. I had something way bigger in my mind, although I was not quite sure yet what exactly that would be. 
My passions are community outreach, creating relationships, and supporting people and their important causes. I knew we could go far. And thanks to the support of my dear friend, co-worker, and owner of Nutty Staffs, Jacqueline Ricci, who always thinks big and acts with enthusiasm, we did. And this is the result. My name is Ali Ragudo, and I am a student of the University of Vermont interning with Nutty Staffs. Each box holds one of eight collector's cards, illustrated by Hilda Atalanta. And I would like to read a statement from her. The problem of the perfect vulva. All, vul all vulvas are unique and beautiful, just like our hands, noses, and eyes are. The problem is that there is just one kind of vulva shape being displayed in the popular media. Whether it is in magazines, mainstream porn, or even biological books, all over the world, we are constantly confronted with the distorted image of the perfect vulva. And it has led us to believe that we don't fit the normal image. As a result, girls as young as nine years old are researching labiaplasty surgery, the surgical procedure that alters the aesthetic appearance of the labia and or clitoral hood. Uh, they are doing this online, and we are seeing a sharp global increase in girls under 18 and even under 15, undergoing labiaplasty labiaplasty surgery, making this procedure one of the fastest growing types of, co of cosmetic surgery in the world. So what can we do about it? We've somehow gotten the idea that there's something wrong with us, but there isn't. To prove this, I started the Vulva Gallery in 2016. The Vulva Gallery is an online gallery and educational platform celebrating vulva diversity aiming to improve sexual health, ed health education and opening up conversation about topics that are being, still being stigmatized.